Gucci. I don't. Hello, welcome to the video. But we did the chink already. Yes, I'm aware. I'm just welcoming the guests. Is that yeah, alright? Sure. Thank you for clicking on the video kind of thing. Sit down, take a seat. Take a seat, make a tea, drink it with us while we chat about Japan. This is my partner Nathan, if you've ever seen him on my channel before. No, yeah. And he has ever so graciously accepted my invitation onto my channel today and we are going to talk about our Japan trip that we took at the end of last year. Hi! Uh, okay. When you think about Japan, what's the first thing that you think of? Vending machines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I remember getting coffees when we were hiking. Mm. But I thought it was kind of cool and efficient how going to the restaurant like and you got like soba noodles and stuff, you'd mm. go to the vending machine at the front and yeah. you, then you go in with a ticket. Yeah, it's really efficient how um, you prepay for it. That way you just go in and you eat and you leave and it eliminates the waiting factor. Yeah, you just go in with a piece of paper and you pick the picture and then you got the piece of paper and you give it to the guy. Yeah. And he's like, it <laughs> Eat. No? Rayon is watching this and cringing, I can see it. Itatakimasu. Yeah, and that's like, it is a feast. And then, what do you say when you finish? Itatakimasu. Oh, sama deshita. I guess leading into another thing that I really enjoyed was the fact that the vending machines are in like the most random places. When we were hiking over three days, we were in the middle of nowhere and there was just this vending machine and we started hiking one morning at 4, 4 30, 5 o'clock in the morning because we were afraid that we weren't going to make it in time because we were walking two days in one. It was so dark. It was pitch black. Obviously no cafes were going to be open and Nathan and I love coffee in the morning. Like we are not functional until we've had coffee. And we were like, what are we going to do? Like how are we going to walk all day and I have a coffee? And then we just turn around and there's this beautiful glowing vending machine oh. in the middle. <laughs> and they have hot coffee in the vending machine. Yeah, they've got a cold section and a hot section in the bottom. I really and it was liked hot. that. Yeah, a bit skeptical, but we figure like if you can have a cold fridge, you can have a hot a heated fridge, I guess. Yeah. The ramen. We well, had this ramen at this place in it's Ginza, and it's called Kazami. And Nathan doesn't even really like ramen, but he liked that ramen. Like that was the best ramen. I we waited an hour and a half in yeah. a line for ramen, but it was worth it. I really liked the train system, mm. like the metro and having a slicker and how easy it was mm. to get around mm. and the ease of having Google Maps. Google Maps is so good in Japan though, like it tells you what side of the platform to get on, mm -hmm. side of the platform to get off. It tells it you, tells you like that because in the Japan stations you have exits when you get off. The, the metro. So there's different exits for what street you like want to come out of the metro in because you, you can walk kilometers underground in these metros. Yeah, yeah. That's, what I, yeah. that's what I found quite interesting. Impressive for starters. Yeah, you have to leave a certain exit for a certain landmark. And even outside of Google Maps, I mean, oh, yeah. the signage was good. Everything's got English under it. Mm. Hi, 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 hi. Do you speak English? Hi, 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 hi. hi. Okay, well, what's something that you've learned that you didn't know before? Like, what's something that you took away from your Japan experience? Japanese. Yeah, but you didn't learn anything. <laughs> you forgot it all. So, this bad boy was like 100 yen, 150 yeah. yen. Which is like a dollar fifty. I bought two. <laughs> and they, they, they're going strong. They're going strong. Yeah. Like a solid, what, liter water bottle. Yeah. Other people get a huge, like, life lesson out of your like, your eyes. plastic water bottles. And, like, good quality, <laughs> light water bottles. Okay, but, like, where did you buy it from? Family Mart. And if you go to Japan, don't even worry about spending money on going out for dinner, to be honest, because you can buy everything at the convenience station. Lawson, which was a l most popular in Tokyo, I'd say. Family Mart. There are a lot of 7-Elevens, but the Family Mart is the best. If you want coffee and, or like a matcha latte, I drink like how many matcha lattes do you think I got from the Family Marts? Every day, at least two or three. Was it worth going to Harry Potter World? Yeah, I would say it was worth it, I guess. What's it called? Uh, Universal Studios. I just wanted to go and see Hogwarts, to be honest. Mm. And uh, it was beautiful. And the ride that we went on in the castle was uh, really good, actually. Got about an hour and a half time to really, really? build up anticipation. Yeah, in the line waiting for it. In um, Osaka, I liked Dontonbury. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, 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 like... the street of food. Mm. The energy there is so cool, except when we were catching the plane home, we were walking down that street at like 4am and man it was weird, it was 
Kiri. There's still people there. Wow, they were going hard. Clean up time as well. Yeah. Japan is notorious for being pretty clean, I'd say. Like, there's no rubbish anywhere, but you know why? It's all in Dontenbori. <laughs> I have to say, I found Osaka to be a bit quite dirty. Yeah, but Tokyo was super clean. Too, yeah, so clean. What did you think of Kyoto? Was it I loved Kyoto for starters. And yeah, I would say it was clean. It was older, wasn't it? Yeah, it, older, more full of history. The people were a lot more laid back. In Tokyo, everyone is very, very high strung and stressed all the time. And you can really feel that even when you're just on the train, like everyone around you is kind of like... One thing that I really enjoyed and that I found to be quite um, unique to Japan... Yeah, the culture um, in Japan is yeah, and long running. Yeah, absolutely, and you can really feel it. And I don't know, it's just you see those classic photos of Japan, like the the streets are all so small, and there's like no street parking. Everyone's riding bicycles everywhere. Well, I want to do the Kamano Kodo again. We did the Kamano Kodo hike when we were there. It's a hike that is UNESCO World Heritage, one of two in the world. I've done both. Not humble brag or anything like that. <laughs> Nobody, me. Did you know I've done a dual pilgrimage? <laughs> but it was a beautiful, beautiful hike. There's heaps of different routes that you can do. We did. The Nakahichi route. I would want to do that again because there's a couple of things that we didn't get to do, like go to the Yinomune Onsen. There were also more parts of that route that we, did. that we didn't do, yeah. Well, I think I would go somewhere I haven't been yet. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Everyone, yeah, everyone's got a fascinating story, and I just wished I could speak Japanese, like sitting on the train and people watching, just like, what's your story? You really liked the architecture. Yeah. Every time we walk past the building, yeah. he would be like, Look at the gata! Oh, look at the tiles! Look at the tiles! How do they do that? Can I build one? I do have to say though, you know how you described it as familiar? I disagree. For me, that's the first country I've been to where the majority of the population is not white. But for me, it wasn't a shock. It was just kind of like, oh yeah, we're in Japan now. That's so cool. And you're like looking around the plane and it's like, well, not the plane, sorry, the train. It's all in Japanese and yeah. there's like ads and it's so colorful. And it's like the second you get off the plane, immediately you are just engrossed in this completely different world. Yeah, I suppose it's probably also relevant that I did a trip to Japan like 10 years ago. Yeah, how so, do you remember if it's like, how do you think it's changed in those 10 years? I went just with my mom and I. Google Maps wasn't a thing, as it is now anyway. But it just meant that, you know, come night time, come like 8 o'clock, we'd be at a hotel or whatever. That okay, was kind of it. Yeah, let's see what's on TV now. Let's yeah. order some food. Because if we go out, we might not be able to figure out how to get home. Mm. Whereas this time around, we were like, let's just hop on a train. It's only 8.30. Let's just go. Yeah. The day is young. Yeah. <laughs> we got tired. Traveling is exhausting. If you think about it in everyday life, we do like an exciting thing like on the weekends, right? Like mm. maybe once or twice a week. We're like, yeah. let's go out. But when you're traveling every single day, yeah. you're doing something new. Yeah. That's so overwhelming for your brain. Especially when you're in a different country trying to figure out different currency, different manners that you have to abide by, like, you know, all these things. I actually liked, um, just looking at a picture of the, of the temple, mm. the little scroll that we picked up. I found it really fascinating how Shintoism and Buddhism mm. lives they coexist. And yeah. On the streets, there are shrines everywhere and there are temples everywhere. Yeah, people in every day in Tokyo, we'd be having lunch and we'd see someone come along to a Shinto shrine and you know, pay their respects. Pray and leave. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's all we have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. What's this? I, I don't know. This just happened. Is that alright? Yeah. If you guys have been to Japan, comment down below and tell us your favorite part and we'd love to have a little chat about it. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye! Anyway, watch our Japan video, it's linked down below, thanks, bye! Yeah.